Hello and welcome to your Flowbody Gym tutorial. Let's take a look at what's inside. In your box, your inserts directed you here because this is a unique product, so it's important that you watch this video in full. In the black Flowbody bag, you'll find four resistance bands. A 15 pound, which isn't used too often. A 10 pound. A five pound, which I recommend starting with and an S-band for connecting. Twist to unlock and twist again to lock. You'll also see a connection piece and two hand slash foot straps, which are used for either the hands or the feet. When connecting your band to the straps, you'll always connect it to the D-ring located on the hand slash foot strap. When inserting your hand weights into the body bar, release the locking mechanism by twisting. Place the weight into the body bar with the black circle portion going in first. Twist or rock, making sure you don't place the weight too far in and can still place your hands on it. Lock it back up and pull to ensure it's secure. The wave-like pattern is the bottom of your mat. The bottom part of the mat is what you will see. Remove the huggers and let's roll out the Flowbody Gym. You'll notice the top and the bottom mat are connected by a zipper. Unzip the zipper for body bar workouts. The zipper located on the back side of your body bar is only used when you need a replacement. Otherwise, don't unzip. To feed your resistance band through the body bar, unzip, hold it upright, and thread it through. It's always easier if the body bar is unzipped. Some workouts may use two bands for more length. Just connect the S band to your five and make sure that it's even on both sides. To switch out your bands, simply connect the band that you want to the one that is already in the body bar. Thread it through and detach the band that you no longer need to use. To anchor one side for single-sided movements, connect your weight to the resistance band and place it in the body bar. Press your feet into the body bar to stabilize. You'll find more information on that in the tips and tricks. To form a straight bar with your connection piece, unscrew the end cap of your weight. Always do this with the end cap facing up to prevent the weight from falling out. The 2.3 pound weight is removable to allow for modifications as needed. Line up the connection piece with the weight and thread it together with the weight upright. It doesn't have to be extremely tight. For easy storage, keep the resistance band connected to your weight and insert it into the body bar, ensuring the locking mechanism is locked before you move it. Roll up the mat and replace the huggers for easy storage. Be sure to check out the other tips and tricks. Now you're ready to get started. Head over to On Demand at go.flowbody.com. I recommend the five-day beginner series. Don't forget to say hello in the Flowbody Circle, and I'll meet you on the mat.